Hello friends, today I'll be doing another drawing session and while I'm flipping through my sketchbook, I realized that the glue has actually came off on one of the page. And I'm not sure how durable it will be as days goes by. Okay, let's dive right in. I'll be drawing this interesting iconic building that is the new Apple floating retail store in Singapore. As announced on Apple's newsroom, it says that this is the most ambitious retail project so far, and this is the very first Apple store to sit directly on the water of Marina Bay Sands. I guess this will add on an unforgettable and awesome experience for the customers. Before I forget, if you are new to my channel, you may consider to subscribe to my channel and to hit the bell for my future art videos. While drafting this sketch, a lot of memory is flashing back. Reason being, I have a special relationship with Apple as I had worked in Apple before. Well, since today I am touching on the topic of drawing this Apple store, maybe this will be an interesting topic for you of me sharing what's life when working in Apple. I joined Apple from the period of 2014 to 2016 for two years. Before that, I've worked in a few US companies and also some Europe company. I would say that um, working in this organization is definitely an eye-opening experience uh, that no other companies can offer. And I would say that it is maybe because of the branding and the strong iconic image that has instilled in many people till today. Well, coming back to some interesting questions that some of my friends and colleagues is asking me when they know that I have worked in Apple before. Are you ready for the first question? Here it is. Are you allowed to use comparator mobile and gadget in Apple campus? The answer is definitely yes. Actually, Apple is a very strange um, organization. While they are actually taking pride of their own products, their own innovative, um, they don't really state a rule to say that all employees are required to carry uh, Apple products when they enter into the workplace. Okay, here comes the next question. Does each employee entitled free Apple products? The answer will be yes and no. Well, not every department in Singapore will enjoy the so-called free Apple products. That will depend greatly on the yearly budget of the department. And that will only happen like by end of the year you will have it. For some of them, they will get a decent iPhone. That means that employee will not be entitled for the latest model. But you will get the models that is um, for the two years back. That is, for example, you will not be getting the uh, iPhone 12, but instead you will get the XS Max or the XR model. At the same time, if there is a new special launch of new products, employee is able to enjoy, like say, a very good discount of the new products. Okay, here's the third question. What is the attire for employees when working? Well, there is no specific attire that you need to follow when working. You can wear as long as uh, you are comfortable in. Let's say you can wear jeans, you can wear shirts, you can wear shorts, you can wear slippers. There's no restraint on this part. Okay, here comes the fourth one. What type of food they serve in the cafe? While well, Apple is taking pride in their own products, they are also very particular in the food that they serve in the Apple Cafe. Um, all the chefs, you can see that they are actually wearing white and black as uniform, and the food-wise are of good and premium quality. They serve food like Asian and uh, Western cuisine. And one of the fun facts which you can notice in the Apple Cafe is they serve uh, a lot of uh, fruits every day, daily. Uh, they serve fruits like bananas, oranges, and apples. And you can notice that only apples are free of charge, and the rest of it you gotta pay for them. Okay, next came to the next questions. Will employees participate in Apple events? And the answer is yes, we do. Um, during those important launching events, which is called the MPI, we only know, like, say, one week before, and then we receive the email invites to attend this closed door meeting. And then during this meeting, we will be able to know what types of products will be launched and what other departments that will be heavily involved in this uh, launching. 
After the launching period, we will then have a mini celebrations on the campus for this successful launch, where we will be enjoying food and drinks, especially lots of apple cider. Here comes the next questions. Is there work-life balance while working in Apple? I would say not quite, because while employees are enjoying the benefits of the companies, they are required to work harder, and uh, this will mean employees are required to work during weekends and public holidays, especially like Chinese New Year. So for those that have families, it may not be an ideal job um, working in Apple. Okay, the next question is, is there career advancement in Apple? Well, there are a few thoughts when we come to talk about um, career advancement in Apple. Um, when working in Apple, uh, all I can advise is that you need to adjust the mindset in terms of being very matured in your approach when you're working in these big organizations. But if you're one of those that want to push yourself and want to be ambitious, you know, to want to be top of the organizations and just one day walk into your boss's room to ask for promotions and to ask for a pay raise, I don't think you will get what you want, you know what I mean? Because Apple, they don't give any chances to nonsense. But I understand that there are some graduates really swear by heart that they really want to work for Apple as their first job. If you want to really build up your own starting career and want to build your own resume, Apple can be a really good stepping stone for you, you know, at the beginning of your career. So, best of luck, go to Apple website and apply for the new job. So here comes the last questions that I want to address today. So why is Apple products so secretive? Well, if you observe in the past Apple Live event, most of us normally would not know beforehand what is the new launch, what is the new product implementations. So even for myself, while I was working at Apple, sometimes we are assigned for a certain project that not even my closest colleagues will know. There is a reason behind this. Apple wants that superb customer's experience for their own customers. They want surprises for them. They want to create the kind of assignment that nobody else can offer. They want people to wow their products when they have their first hand on them. This is basically their marketing strategy that is an open secret in Apple. So I hope you guys enjoyed this session with me today and I hope you like the rest of this time-lapse video.